It's a Christian exchange that stems the last 20 years. A team of missionaries from Family Life Church in San Antonio, Texas, visiting with the Creative Christian Arts Ministries locally to discuss ways to positively impact young people. Dr. Ann Higgins is the co-pastor of Creative Arts Christian Ministry on Windsor Lane West. And she explains that the mission team spent the week in the capital visiting with the young people at the church. Pastor Higgins talked about the importance of the exchange while visiting Bishop Alfred Blue said he wants to remind young people that there is hope for a great future. The exchange will be our children will go to San Antonio, Texas and have an exchange with uh, this team, mission team from Elevate Mission Team. And of course, they're here. So it's an exchange where they'll be able to collaborate with each other and minister to one another. That you can come from any place and be the best that you can be. And so we're here to accentuate that message. These young people are part of this exchange program that's been going on for 20 years. Talk about, of course, faith in God. Uh, family, uh, values, uh, using the education system uh, to, to uh, achieve your goals, and just believing that you can strive to be your very best. Youth Pastor Austin Blue said whenever he visits the Bahamas, he feels like he is at home, particularly with the racial tensions that surface from time to time in the United States. Well, when I come here, uh, the, the energy is very similar. Uh, I see a lot of things back in San Antonio, Texas, as far as the energy of the young kids. Uh, but I'll say we're not as friendly back back home. There's the, the that sense of brotherhood where you can meet a total stranger five minutes ago and we can be talking about our lives. That's something that I've always experienced here. This is my third time in the Bahamas. For me, uh, the things that are going on in the United States with African Americans, uh, just to realize that when I come to the Bahamas, I almost feel like I'm at home. Uh, so I kind of have to get out of that mindset. I don't have to look over my shoulder for, you know, different different kinds of oppression and racism and things like that. Although those things still exist in different many parts of the world, I still feel that sense of home and that sense of love when I come here.